Hello, my name is Ramon and I used to be a native speaker of English, but that's another story. I'm a teacher and I write language teaching programs, publish TV. Two things I love doing are traveling and learning languages. Now I have a friend, a very good friend, Thelonious Jeremiah Tongue Twister. He's a professor of multilinguistics and he loves traveling and he loves learning languages. And he's very, very lucky because he has a magic hot air balloon. And he's able to travel in this balloon through time, space, history, and literature. Now, I'm going to tell you a few of his stories. But to make everything a little bit more memorable, we're going to use light and shadow, okay? First, Professor Tongue Twister took off in his magic balloon and flew to Sherwood Forest. And who did he meet there? That's right, Robin Hood. And Robin Hood was very busy stealing from the rich and giving the money to the poor. And he wanted to steal money from Professor Tongue Twister. But he didn't have any. All he had was his credit card. So Robin Hood took that. But he didn't get the money because he didn't know Professor Tongue Twister's PIN number. Professor Tongue Twister got back in the balloon and flew to 221B Baker Street, London. And who did he meet there? That's right, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Sherlock Holmes was smoking his pipe and using his magnifying glass to try and solve a particularly complicated mystery. Professor Tongue Twister helped him, of course. When he'd done that, he got back in the balloon and flew and flew and landed on a desert island. And there he met the world's most famous castaway, Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe had made himself a fishing rod and with it he caught a lovely big fish and he roasted the fish over a bonfire and then he invited Professor Tongue Twister to lunch and they ate this lovely roasted fish. He said goodbye to Robinson Crusoe, got in his balloon and flew back to the Elizabethan age where he met perhaps the world's most famous playwright, William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was trying to finish Hamlet. He was using a quill, a pen made out of a feather. He couldn't think of an ending, but of course, Professor Tongue Twister helped him. After he'd helped Shakespeare finish Hamlet, gets back into the balloon again and flies and meets Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton is sitting under a tree and at that moment an apple falls on his head and thanks to that Isaac Newton discovers gravity. Now that's my story about Professor Tongue Twister. Now it's your turn to tell a story using light and shadow. And remember, be creative, use your imagination and try to make it memorable.